here we go side by side. Uh, I already flipped the uh, spring over to here uh, to replace the broken one. This is my, uh, oh, what I think is a 388. It's definitely a single side plate. Uh, let's take a look at this one. This is definitely a double side plate. You can see the nuts over there. You can see the nuts and bolts over there. Oops, sorry. Oh, earthquake. Uh, sorry, I just had a minor earthquake there. Um, and when I look at the stampings, of course, this one's got the plug out, so I need to put the plug in here for just a second so we don't uh, spread even more oil on the floor. Look like I'm in a Earl processing plant here. Uh, but when we flip this one over, let's look at the numbers here. AN31, okay? Uh, now, the uh, internet is awesome in that uh, it brings us all together. But uh, let me set this down for just a sec. But then it's also uh, in full of incredibly bad information. Um, so I really don't know where I'm at with this. But, uh, you know, the internet told me that, uh, here we go, we're looking at, looking at this guy. The internet told me that the AN is a 388 transmission. And uh, so we've got the AN31. So uh, the other thing it tells me is that the uh, 3 has something to do with the year of manufacture so this would be like a 73 or something like that right so now we're looking at this one and it's an AN sorry if that's upside down guys AN02 so it is an AN which the internet will tell you is definitely a 388 with a double side plate uh, you know logic tells you it is not a 388 I thought this was the original trans to this car and it very well may be. But this says it was made in 72. This says 73. If I'm to believe what I'm reading about how to date these things. So uh, this would make sense that it was made in 73 because the car that it came from was made in 73. This one was from a car that was made in 1974. So it would make sense if it had a 73 or a 74 because they would have made them in 73, you know. Uh, just like they do now. They started in whatever it was, July of the year before or something like that. So anyway, uh, the convertible was made in February of 74. Uh, so, I mean, that's the exact, you know, month of manufacture. So the fact that this is a 72 transmission is sort of concerning. Now I've got to go look up a few things, but this is the other interesting thing. It makes me think, it makes me think this is actually a later transmission even though it says 72 I got a switch right here my guess is this is a neutral safety switch I don't know that for a fact but this transmission ah, transaxle I should use the correct terminology this transaxle does not have one so there it is right there and there it isn't right there so which one's which I don't know uh, so now we're gonna have to play the what's in the box game so stay tuned. Got a little tape on the output shaft here and then a little tape on a clutch disc here so we're going to play what's in the box. I believe I have them both shifted in fourth gear uh, based on the fact that uh, before I pulled it out of the old car there I put it into fourth gear and then I took note of where that was so it's twisted toward the driver's side and then pulled all the way out the uh, little shift mechanism there so uh, you guys are going to watch right there I'll try and keep the camera on you and then I'm going to count to 10 with uh, the clutch up here. And here we go. Ready? There's one. There's two. There's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten revolutions. So uh, now I'm going to do the other one here, and we're going to see if it's the same. I, I can't count both of them at the same time, so uh, I'll have to watch. I'll find out right alongside with you guys. This is what I think is the 1972 transmission, so we're going to do the same thing. Ten rotations. Here we go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, 
10. Well, what do you know? I just went through all four forward gears in both boxes and they all are identical. Uh, I don't know what this leads me to believe. It leads me to believe my mind has been blown. Um, it also leads me to believe I need to pop these things open and find out what the hell's going on. So uh, that's my next step. We'll pop them open and uh, hopefully not do any damage. Uh, so one way or another, we'll figure this little math problem out. I don't really know what uh, to expect to find under here. I'm hoping this is where the big ring gear is, but uh, I don't know. You know, something tells me I may need to do something else before I uh, get this side plate off, but uh, yeah, we'll keep it rolling, see what happens, you know, make it exciting. Greg could be uh, you know, ruining a perfectly good transmission here, I don't know. We'll see. Hard to do one-handed, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yep, we're going to have to go inside and watch VW Darren's video on how to take these things apart. Oh, thank God for YouTube. Uh, VW Darren went back and watched the old video, dude. Uh, you don't know how much those videos uh, save my ass sometimes when I'm doing stuff and I can just go watch you do it, you know. I have to watch real close and you're always talking about something else. So I have to kind of ignore what you're talking about and really pay attention. But, uh, yep, we got the single side plate open. We got a 31 tooth gear here. I can't remember if 31 is the 388 or if it's something else. But, uh, I don't know, man. Maybe we have an anomaly here. But this gearbox, gear for gear, is identical to that one. Uh, this is a double side plate, man. They're both AN code. I don't know how that plays into it, but, uh, I don't know, dude. <laughs> Uh, I may have to pop it open just to prove what's going on if I find out that this is a 388. Maybe this is a 412 and uh, it's just uh, an anomaly in an AN. I, I don't, I really don't know. But uh, yeah, if I had to rely on this book, I'd be in, in trouble to get this thing apart. Uh, your video is awesome, dude. So uh, we're going to go do some checking and see what we can find. So I did some checking and the uh, 31 tooth ring is part of the 388 uh, set as far as I know and uh, which just further confuses things because uh, that means both transmissions are the 388s which doesn't make any sense uh, but the, the 388 is derived from a 31 tooth ring with an eight tooth pinion so uh, I don't know <laughs> got some more ciphering to do here not sure but I can tell you we rode in Darren's bug and it was markedly different in terms of its shift points uh, than the Gia so uh, so yeah I don't know hmm kinda weird I guess uh, the next step is to get attack and find out for sure exactly what's going on inside that gearbox uh, with the car in motion so anyway that's it for tonight. Don't let me know.